here we begin our adventure with Sacramento, Occupy Sacramento. Because of heavy traffic, I'm going to be uh, going to the event via public transit. in here but we haven't passed through the downtown area yet going to the east side so I don't know maybe it's coming hopefully I get off and it'll be a nice ride well, there we are now I do have an agenda today of course, we're going to take the uh, city council meeting, but I also look forward to uh, trying to get some progress on uh, this statement of purpose, state solidarity statement. I think it's very important that you just take something like the uh, New Yorkers have drafted and just use that. Why do we have to uh, reinvent the uh, cookie cutter? Why don't we just uh, use what works? Why reinvent the wheel? And here we are in front of the uh, Sacramento County Administration Center. Corner of H and I. And Savage Park is down there, another block. And, uh, gosh. We have some federal building here. Post office. Ooh, and we have a lot more people today. I said it came earlier yesterday. <laughs> Looks like a lot more people have turned out for the city council meeting. And we can see that the uh, major media has set up here, KCRA, Channel 10. They're on the scene to take, take some video. We'll see what kind of biased coverage they might put out. So let's see if we can go find Franklin and James amongst the people here.
factor. Mounted police. They're sending in the cavalry. Unarmed people. And they have to uh, bring in the heavy weaponry to intimidate the people. They're pretty, aren't they? But it, Purely for intimidation purposes. If I can't work to make it, I'll rob and take it. 
Either that or me and my children are starting to make it. Yeah, that's an important one. Decriminalize homelessness. Way the president's election. I'm mean, I I didn't know what I said to him, but I was like, I'm not up on that. I really don't care. Because Obama, we elected Obama, he's like, change. I didn't know have anything to do with that, by the way. But Obama's in power now. Tom has changed. And he just kept all the same policies that George W. Bush started. How has that changed? He started the bullshit health care thing, and that never happened. Yes. <laughs> what were you saying about hippie chick? I was saying, you can only stay with the hippie chick for a certain amount of time unless you believe in their ideals. Being a Green Party member like I am, it's the perfect fit, because you're right, just the right amount between hippies and environmentalists. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's better to be dominated by a woman than to try and dominate one. You know, and that's exactly what we're talking about. And most of the things that we're talking about are like economic things. So maybe like maybe what you're saying it with like hippie chicks is that um, they're maybe a little a less materialistic. Yeah. Is, I mean, is that like something that you you would be attracted to with yeah. a, a hippie chick? Yeah. Also, like that they don't like they they'll flip out at you if you try and control them. <laughs> and I am a, I am kind of a control freak, but you know it's good to have a break every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but no, these are pearls Plus, of wisdom. Chicks share their weed. And that's, share their weed. That, and that's very important. Yeah. And that, they also have lots of contacts. <laughs> <laughs> lots of contacts. Yeah, yeah hippie sisters. <laughs> And that, gives, and that gives all of us, you know, a, a, a chance at, you hippie know... Hippie twins are the best. Hippie twins? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen any hippie twins. <laughs> hippie twins. Good <laughs> spot, <laughs> because this, growing up, we always call this Vinyl Park. Vinyl Park. And, uh... When Bill Sterner, he was mayor, he you know, he was mayor, and he, he died in the dedicated uh, park show, but he was probably the best better. I think so. So, uh, but now it's kind of like that. Uh, this nationwide kind of worldwide, if people think about the whole thing of uh, people just being able to have the right to be in a certain spot. Alive. Just to be alive, right, right. Just, just to be alive, right. Yeah. You know, it doesn't it take a piece of paper or a lot of money just to exist anymore. It makes people think, how free are we? Yeah, that's, God bless. You have a good like it was some kind of presidential election, you know? Well, we don't like Obama, so let's fuck up Congress. I can't, I did not vote for God. No, I don't understand what the fuck was with the in the 20th century. They stayed home. Yeah, that's true. I went, I fucking went, I remember that day. The next day I had to go to Jeopardy tryouts in San Francisco. Good time, good time. Um, but wait, 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 so he co-opted Martin Luther King Jr. saying that MLK wouldn't want anybody to uh, demonize those people who work at the Wall Street firm. They demonized know. him though. Yeah. He on Martin Luther King Jr. Backwards. If you're reading about backwards. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. I think I like it. <laughs> Can you remember I seen the alphabet backwards? Um, that's our Q. That's our Q. That's our Q. P O N M L K. But I mean, isn't that a real kind of problem that you know the whole movement might be co-opted by you know either the Tea Party or the Obama, the re-elect Obama campaign? Okay, I would be much happier with the re-elect Obama. This is not something that's sent off to 
but we want to maintain a general objective. That's the thing. This is meant to go with, this is all about class and those on top paying a fair share. When Obama was elected, I got to check out open policy. Obama did take corporate handouts. That is a fact. He has taken corporate profits. Um, however, no presidential candidate many, many years going way back the line prior to Obama has raised so much of his own campaign for personal mm. Um Those little $20 here and there that he was donating to the campaign for, that was how much Obama raised the most of his money and continues to raise the most. Oh, no, no, no. Certainly yeah. he's changed, dude. $175,000 a plate lunch in San Francisco this weekend. But also don't forget, there are wealthy liberals who are not in the 1%. Oh, yes, and yes. We would have a very difficult time electing Obama or anyone from a Democratic or more liberal I refuse to work system. from inside the system. Man. It's going to take a very long time if you don't work inside the system. And I'm not trying to change that, but voting at the very least. And so, you know, recognizing that the people that go to sponsor theaters and the people that have even $5 million are in the 99%. Yeah, and they don't even know it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's trying to tear down a tree over there. I don't know what's the officer? No, that guy. He's pulling on the tree for quite a while. He has to stretch. I bet he's trying to find a place. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Want to and Joe's sandwich? Any bread. I
Yeah, and you're the one who takes all the heat for the ball. But you don't want to come up with all that stuff. You don't want to come up with all that stuff. You don't want to come up with all that stuff. You don't want to come up with all that stuff. almost just leave, but I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. Um, you know, this is uh, history in the making, and it seems to be the it seems from what I've people I've talked to that there's uh, there might be a contingent of people that might do some civil disobedience. Oh, but no, but you were so awesome before. Oh, well, you can catch me before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now I'm not. <laughs> but, but, we're real, but we're all real people, you know? That's true. But uh, my mom, I would rather her be proud of me being out here than to give me a lecture about cigarettes. <laughs> but that's so small people because, I don't know, tobacco to me or to some people is, you know, really important. And if they didn't have that, they might be doing something else, you know, like, okay, yeah. you know. Okay, yeah. So, and, 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 no, and, and most of the things that we do aren't really good for us, you know, so, yeah, yeah. you know. So how is that? Is that good? I that's good. I've done that like about four or five times yeah. now. But, well, you know, with certain things, so this, is, this is where I'm like trying to see my role is just, you know, instead of taking on the big picture issues, kind of doing the person to person work of just, let them know, and I think it is true that if they're respectful on that, that means that they'll talk more with us for shooting. And I think we should be in city council every single week. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> get up and leave, they'll only be 10 I like that idea a lot. Yeah. A lot. Pass it on. <laughs> Pass on the world. We should be in city hall. This week. Pass on the world. What's your name? Chris. Um, yeah, I um, I came out here last night, uh, you know, trying to see if uh, anything was going to happen, and um, I'm kind of glad that nothing did. And I'm just wondering what's going to happen tonight because I don't foresee the council swaying from their policy. No, I don't think they will. They fought. It's their best to say they fought state council Sacramento on this. So. Um, They'll, they'll fight us. I think what they're worried is that they'll get like a big homeless encampment. And, um, well, that's the thing that they need to address, though. Uh, well, uh, this is what... This is what they need to think. Their city council audience is now packed full of us, and there's still a bunch of us that can't get in. If they go up there on their high podium and say, no, there's going to be a consequence. Now, with Safe Ground Sacramento, I don't know how many people they bring to a city council meeting, but we've brought a lot. So I'm hoping that the sight of all those people filling the city hall and, like Sarah Beth said, coming every time applies a little... Pressure. General pressure. Yeah, yes. and that's what we want, see? Pressure. That doesn't mean let them do whatever the fuck they want. That means the slow sumo push. <laughs> <laughs> the you know? slow sumo push. Right. Yeah. I mean... Because they have the big budget. They have the means to, you know, swelch our enthusiasm. And we have to... But they're going to try to do, because we should not be naive about how power works. If it was not this problem, then we would already have what we want. Exactly. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't need to worry about banking honesty and that kind of thing. By the way, I want one thing I'm going to do is um, I want to start... I, I, like, I really like round robin chants. But I need to kind of prep it up a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm asking people if you can say in two to three words, what is your issue? So I'll give an example. People fight under attack. What do we do? Occupy sack. Clean water under attack. What do we do? Occupy sack. Veterans freedom under attack. What do we do? Occupy sack. Do you have an issue that's dear to you that you'd like included, that you'd like to be included in that camp? I'll just write it down and do it. I just like to, us to, you know, have our, uh, to follow the rules, you know, constitutional rights. Constitutional rights under attack. What do we do? Occupy sex. Sound good? 
That sample. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and write it down. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. See now, watch me. I'm gonna be all. <laughs> so walking like this. But I mean, that's that's really why I'm here. You know, this is such a, a First Amendment issue. You know, and um, it's really essential that we you know exercise it. And if we come down here and exercise it every week, all the better. <laughs> right, just because that's, of and that's a real, that's a po real possibility. Concern. So that's why I'm building a piece of <laughs> Absolutely. Because yeah, all it needs, all it takes is one person on either side. You know. That's right, and so we know so I'm like sedulously working. I mean, it's kind of like you don't build a house in a day. You got to kind of, right. So. You don't build an empire in a day. You don't build a cause or win back your rights in a day. You know, it takes daily, uh, daily practice. Daily practice to get out there and actually use them, because you know if you don't. That adage, you know, you don't use it, you lose it. That's right. And especially if you're counting on, you know, a politician to give you your rights. Can we say Bill of Rights? For yours, or do you want to constitute? I just constitute, because all of them, yeah, because, like, 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 they're, they're, all all under, they're all under assault. <laughs> okay. But, you know, if you want to be specific, First Amendment rights. Okay, let's do that. Well, you know what? Let's oh, I know. Free speech, but I don't do that one already. And I'll do uh, Bill of Rights. Because that covers other things like uh, grabbing in. Well, you know, just like the other, some other people were saying, they're, you know, concerned about, you know, the uh, city taking on new regulation of the cannabis collectives. And that's clearly, a, you know, a tenth uh, amendment violation, you know, all powers not, uh, mm -hmm. you know, specifically given to the government are given to the states and the people. Mm. Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. I was actually going to have the Bill of Rights. Um, good. I'm going to start walking around and ask them. Absolutely. Is, see my clever technique. I'm going to go around and ask what can people want, what is too important, and then and have them read that, see that, and you see. And you, and you got it yeah, good, man. Well, you know, I'm, I'm inside, I believe in this very seriously. And I also have this stuff. So I'm going to help people get involved. They're helping me out. All oh, right, I'm going to make my round. <laughs> next block over from the park and this is a great resource for us all to come and uh, do research on our anarchic principles about bringing community and generosity to counter the corporate greed and corrupt government that most people think and rely upon to guarantee their rights. We have to come and assemble in public places, exchange ideas, and give to each other. Because that is one thing that the 1% cannot control, is the generosity of ni the 99%. And no matter how corrupt, their money is, the generosity of the 99% will always outcome, overcome the greed of the 1%. And that is the real revolution I think that not, needs to happen, that we need to overcome the greed with generosity and that will be our salvation. <laughs>